When it comes to cyclic aggression, the first rule is act fast. So uh, I had to do that, and let me tell you about it right now. So my one-eyed autopharynx tetrastigma is no longer in this 55-gallon tank. He was just acting really depressed, still looking good with color, but just really being inactive and eating a little bit, but still not himself. And I needed this tank, and I wanted to make some changes in it. I wanted to pull the hang-on-back filter that's on the tank. I wanted to go ahead and pull it and put it over here on the 55 next to it. I want to start the process of turning this into a planted community tank. The fish are all doing great. It's very stable. So I want to put a hang on back and remove the, uh, the two internal filters and remove that, that large Eheim heater and probably replace it with two 100 watt uh, aquarium co-op heaters. I also received this, this 48 inch aquarium co-op planted tank LED, which I'm very anxious to put onto the 55 gallon, along with some CO2 gear from the co-op. So I am ready to uh, start up a planted aquarium. So the autopharynx tetrastigma was moved into the 300 gallon and immediately he perked up. You can see him right there, looking like his old self again. Except of course he's missing an eye. But I decided, you know what, I think he'll be happier in a tank with tank mates, a lot more swim room, a lot more water circulation. So he was pretty much left alone by the tank mates except for one fish, which is a uh, Buchochromis rhodesii yellow that has been a jerk before. If you've ever had to catch a fish in a tank that's seven feet across, you understand why I'm a little bit exhausted right now, especially with three openings. Usually I would remove the decor, drain the water down, put a divider in, and that would make it very easy to catch fish. But I didn't want to go through all that, so I just, it took me about 20 minutes to catch this guy using two large nets. But I did catch him, and now he's in this tank for a little while until the autopharynx becomes more comfortable in the 300. I'm not a believer in timeouts. I don't think timeouts make a big difference. But I do think that if I can let the autopharynx sort of establish his, uh, himself in the tank, and I've seen him actually face off with a couple other fish that didn't turn into anything, but at least he's, he's asserting himself, let him get established, then I can return this fish back to the 300. Now there's a chance, of course, that when I put him back, He'll just immediately go after the autopharynx again, and then I'll have another set of problems. But if I had just left him in there and let it work itself out, I'm pretty sure that by the morning, the autopharynx would have been either dead or, or damaged and near death. So let's see how this plays out. And ultimately, I'll end up with this tank as an empty tank that will allow me to make some changes, pull the filter, and start to build this tank out as a planted community tank. Then the question will be, what do I do with this tank? Do you think I should leave it as a uh, hospital and quarantine tank? Or maybe, maybe it's time for me to consider a Mabuna tank. And I could use a whole stack of those uh, caves from unique underwater galleries that I have and just stack them up in here and turn this into a big Mabuna playground. What do you think? Well, like my friends in Australia are fond of saying, it's the quick or the dead mate. So, <laughs> and that was certainly the case here. I had to move quick and uh, if I hadn't, I'm pretty sure that by morning, I'd have a very beaten up or dead autopharynx tetrastigma. Seems to have settled out behind me right now. Uh, things were okay. And so we'll see how this plays out. I really hope I can keep both of them. I've grown very fond of that autopharynx tetrastigma. 
He's come back from two near-death situations, unlike any other fish I have or I've ever had. Uh, I was pretty much ready to give him his last rights, and he bounced back twice. So uh, he's kind of a special fish, and uh, we've named him Jack Sparrow because he has one eye, but uh, he's also called Lazarus because of his miraculous uh, rising from the dead on two separate occasions. So uh, let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. Share your thoughts. Do you think I should turn that 55 into a Mabuna tank? Uh, or should I leave it as a hospital and quarantine tank? So share your thoughts and tips below and I'll see you on Saturday at the uh, Cichlids and Coffee live stream. That's Saturday at 11 a.m. Central. Great group of fish keepers get together and talk about everything related to fish keeping. And if you'd like to support the channel, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button, uh, the, the uh, thumbs up and the bell. Uh, let YouTube know that something good is going on. Let's get the channel over 50,000. And if you want to support the channel further, consider becoming a member of the Garage Gang, a Patreon monthly supporter. Starts for as little as $3 a month. Details are in the description. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.